step into the captivating world of The Edge of Night, a 1956 TV series that has left an indelible mark on the industry. This show, with its gripping narrative, has become an everlasting symbol of television excellence. What enduring qualities do you think make it stand the test of time? As you embark on this journey, be prepared for a roller coaster of emotions funny, shocking, and sometimes downright sad. The twists and turns of the plot will keep you glued to your seat, urging you to uncover the mysteries that unfold in each episode. There's more to come, so keep watching. Have you ever wondered how a TV series could inspire or impact your life? The Edge of Night has a way of leaving a lasting impression. Share your personal stories in the comments below. We'd love to hear how this series has touched your life. Now, what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this iconic show? Your stories add depth to the narrative, creating a community bound by shared experiences and emotions. We eagerly await your contributions in the comments. So, buckle up for the next episode, share your tales, and let the conversation begin. Your insights are a vital part of this journey. The Edge of Night has a way of connecting people through its timeless narrative. Let's keep that connection alive in the comments section below. The Edge of Night truly stands out as a distinctive daytime serial that captivated viewers for an impressive 28-year run spanning from 1956 to 1984. Departing from the typical melodrama of soap operas, it seamlessly blended elements of daytime drama, mystery, police detection, courtroom drama, and the supernatural. The unique premise kept audiences eagerly anticipating each episode, offering a refreshing departure from the norm. Produced by Proctor & Gamble Productions, the show boasted remarkable staying power on CBS for 19 years until 1975, followed by a concluding nine-season run on ABC. The series showcased a grand murder mystery narrative skillfully crafted by some of the era's finest writers, leading to numerous Emmy Awards throughout its tenure. The gripping whodunits kept viewers on the edge of their seats, unraveling the causes behind shocking scenes and revealing the stark reality of the culprits who committed the unthinkable. The allure extended beyond riveting mysteries, fostering a strong alumni that included talents like Dixie Carter, Larry Hagman, Richard Dreyfuss, John Voigt, Julian Moore, Richard Thomas, and Hector Elizondo, among others. The CBS years from 1956 to 1975 featured black and white episodes, followed by the transition to color episodes from 1967 to 1984. The subsequent ABC years from 1975 to 1984 continued the show's legacy. Despite its acclaim, the series met an unfortunate end in the summer of 1984 when ABC decided to cancel it, replacing it with The Gary Collins Show. This move marked the conclusion of a remarkable era in daytime television, leaving a lasting impact on its dedicated audience. A significant chapter in television history, The Edge of Night was more than just a daytime serial. It was a captivating journey that showcased the brilliance of storytelling and the talents involved. The Edge of Night holds a unique position in television history as the sole daytime soap opera produced by Procter & Gamble Productions to grace the screens of ABC. While other Procter & Gamble soap operas found their home on CBS or NBC, it took a different path, capturing the attention of daytime television viewers. From its inception in 1956 until the mid-1980s, the show's opening credits showcased the cityscape of Cincinnati, Ohio, However, a shift occurred in 1980 when a new opening sequence replaced Cincinnati with a shot of Los Angeles skyline symbolizing the fictional city of Monticello within the series. Notably, the state in which Monticello was situated remained unspecified throughout its run. Irving Vendig, the creative force behind the show, initially sought to adapt the weekday radio drama Perry Mason for television. Facing a roadblock when Perry Mason's creator, Earl Stanley Gardner, denied the rights, Vendig created his own entity, distinct from its radio predecessor. The series' departure from conventional soap opera melodrama set it apart during its remarkable 28-year run. Blending elements of daytime drama, mystery, police detection, courtroom drama, and the supernatural, it maintained a unique premise that kept viewers engaged. Over the years, it transitioned from black and white episodes during its CBS years to color episodes from 1967 to 1984. Despite its success and critical acclaim, the show faced an unfortunate conclusion in the summer of 1984 when ABC decided to cancel it, replacing it with The Gary Collins Show. This marked the end of an era in daytime television, leaving a lasting impact on its dedicated audience. 
With its gripping narrative and innovative approach to the soap opera genre, The Edge of Night remains a testament to the prowess of its creators and the talents involved in bringing Monticello's mysteries to life. The iconic opening skyline of The Edge of Night, featuring Cincinnati, Ohio View Wood from Kentucky, holds a special connection to the show's sponsor, Procter & Gamble, headquartered in Cincinnati. This unique visual nod became a recognizable hallmark, setting the tone for the gripping narrative that followed. In a memorable 1961 episode, Teal Ames' character met an untimely demise, prompting a flood of concerned calls to CBS. She and co-star John Larkin had to reassure viewers in the subsequent program that only the character, not the actress herself, had passed away. Interestingly, during pre-production, the series was initially titled The Edge of Darkness, foreshadowing the mystery and intrigue that would become synonymous with the show. The creative evolution from concept to execution highlights its commitment to delivering engaging content. The series' connection with Procter & Gamble Productions, CBS, and later ABC played a pivotal role in its 28-year run. The transition from black and white to color episodes, spanning from 1956 to 1984, showcased the evolution of its visual presentation. A notable shift occurred in 1980 when the opening sequence transitioned from Cincinnati to Los Angeles, symbolizing the fictional city of Monticello within the series. This change marked a significant chapter in its visual representation. Irving Vendig, the mastermind behind the series, initially sought to adapt the radio drama Perry Mason for television. Facing obstacles, he forged a unique path, creating a distinct entity that departed from conventional soap opera melodrama. Despite acclaim and numerous Emmy awards, The Edge of Night faced an unfortunate conclusion in 1984 when ABC decided to cancel it, paving the way for The Gary Collins Show. This marked the end of a remarkable era in daytime television, leaving a lasting impact on its dedicated audience. Its enduring legacy lies in the innovative approach to the soap opera genre, blending elements of drama, mystery, police detection, and courtroom intrigue. The series, created by Irving Vendig, stands as a testament to the creative prowess that brought Monticello's mysteries to life. Bibi Newworth made her television debut on the series. The show underwent a shift in 1975, transitioning from daily live broadcasts to recorded episodes before moving from CBS to ABC. Unfortunately, many CBS-era episodes recorded on videotape are presumed lost, a common issue with older programs. The Edge of Night's unique position as the only Procter & Gamble soap opera on ABC distinguishes it from others that found homes on CBS or NBC. The opening credits initially showcased Cincinnati, Ohio, transitioning to Los Angeles in 1980, symbolizing the fictional city of Monticello. The series, initially titled The Edge of Darkness, deviated from conventional soap opera melodrama during its 28-year run, blending elements of daytime drama, mystery, police detection, and courtroom intrigue. Irving Vendig, the creative force behind the show, initially sought to adapt Perry Mason for television, but created a distinct entity when faced with obstacles. Despite acclaim and numerous Emmy Awards, Abe's decision to cancel the series in 1984 marked the end of a remarkable era in daytime television, leaving a lasting impact on its dedicated audience. The visual evolution from black and white to color episodes and the transition from Cincinnati to Los Angeles reflects the series' commitment to delivering engaging content. The Edge of Night, created by Irving Vendig, remains a testament to the creative prowess that brought Monticello's mysteries to life.